Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, we've got you? Kathy, too, and Audrey. All right. All right. So they'll show their, their uh, images. Oh, and Kate. Wow. This is awesome. This is exciting. Oh, my gosh. And is that Ryan, too? Ryan, Matthew, and Grant are here. Oh, my gosh. We're just trying to figure out how to turn up our volume with the up on the big screen. OK. Look at those Kelly eggs. Wow. This is very cool. Very cool. What is this? Well, we're not live on Facebook yet. I haven't uh, turned this on to that yet, but I will, I will do that right now. And when I do, I'll start uh, talking like we're on a TV show, OK? OK. And what happens on the screen for, for the, uh, the Facebook Live is mostly going to be my screen and me on the side, and sometimes people talking. Um, but there's actually a separate recording of all of us together, so this is exciting. Wow. How many students do we have? No, Kevin. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, I do think we're going to have to make sure that if we're watching this on multiple screens and, and Facebook and stuff, that you turn down your volume on, on your screen, or else we're getting a lot of feedback. So, no, we are getting too close. People are going to have to turn down their volumes. And once we have that settled, we'll take it live. Lewis, we're not hearing you very well. OK. Um, Sorry about that. That's all might, right. Might be extending here. So as long as we, um, if I'm if I'm hearing feedback, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I think we'll just go ahead and do it. Um, okay. It's live TV, so you know we can we can wing it a little bit, and that's okay. All right. But this this is a tennis. We're all gonna have some fun. We're all gonna paint together. We're gonna collaborate. Okay. Lewis, you're still not very loud at all, like last night. You were you were louder last night. I was louder last night. All right. Well, the uh, the, the the volume's up on my thing. And maybe we need maybe we need to ask students to mute themselves until they are talking. Maybe, and we That's don't have background idea. noise. Well, it looks like a lot of people are already muted. Good. Except for me and you, I guess. Okay. Um. I don't know. Look at the audio settings. Hey, Elliot. Volume on me. Are they Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So test, test. Is that any better? I think so. All right. <clears throat> I don't mind having a booming voice if I have to. Please. And I'm going to turn mine up just a little bit. That might have been part of the problem, but I can turn it back. Okay. Okay, we're almost ready to go here. I'm going to join. All right, and then you're going to start talking, and then I can do a welcome and introduction of you and whatever. Yes, let's do that. Okay. I'm joining with my other my other head. <laughs> so you might be seeing me meet me twice. Are we going to have kids introduce themselves? I can't even see everybody. I don't know what you want to do. That's a good idea. I'll, I'll ask you, you know, say who you are and when you're, when you're answering a question. Hi. All right, so this is probably what we're going to be going with, kids. You see this? <clears throat> so there's going to be a lot of different, you're going to be seeing my screen most of the time. And I won't be seeing your screen. I'll, I mean, I'll be seeing your face, but I won't be able to see what you do unless you hold it up to the screen. I don't have paper. <laughs> Susan, how do I sound now? You sound great. Thank you. Okay. I think I think we're ready to take this live, y'all. You ready? All right. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Preparing. 
saying, Facebook is saying whether you like me or not. Yes, share it on my timeline. So it's going to be on Lewis Achenbach on the Facebook. On the Facebook. On the Facebook. Hello, on Mrs. Cummings. Hi, how are you? Sorry, I went on Facebook first and then came here. Oh, this is That's good. Right. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to do it right now. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> I'm just going to put a title on here. Um, be patient with me for a second here. I want to make sure we have everybody in place. Make sure I can spell. We have a lot of students. This is exciting. It's That's really awesome. Exciting. Yeah, I'm super excited. Well, we start to hear sort of like feedback stuff. We'll try to see if we can uh, adjust that, but <clears throat> otherwise. Okay, we're almost there. Strap yourselves in, it's gonna be a roller coaster ride. <laughs> okay, I don't, same we're live or what? Mine says live on Facebook up in the corner. Okay, that must be true. <laughs> I would like to see it, but it's not showing me. I don't actually want to see my, my feed live, but. Do we need All right. to take off? I guess, I guess that's it right there. We're live. All right. I'm going to make sure my volume need... on the Facebook is down. I was going to say, do you want to take your screen down, your sharing down for a minute, or do you want to, does, no, do you think okay. that's making a difference? Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to be in the corner most of the time anyway, so I think that's, that's okay. And when you start to talk, oh, hey, everybody, we're live. Here we are. <laughs> And where's my screen? Okay, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. This is Painting with Mr. Lou. This is the pilot episode. So you all are getting in on this from the ground floor running. Isn't that exciting? Uh, it is for me, very much so. Uh, this is Studio 100's Fine Arts Evening, Prospects Fine Arts Evening. I would like to turn on, turn the microphone over to Miss Susan Teamstra for a minute. Go ahead, Susan. All right, thank you. Hello and welcome to Studio 100. We're so glad that you are here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Susan Teamstra, the art teacher at Prospects School in Clarendon Hills. And I first saw Louis Achenbach, paint to a wonderful saxophonist playing just beautiful music and Lewis was painting and talking about interpretation and I was just wowed and since then in November uh, Lewis and Rich Lehman the uh, Clarendon Hills Middle School jazz band director and I have been planning this right, we found November now we didn't plan it like this but through artists, Lewis's artistry and creativity and Rich's talented teaching, we have an event tonight. And I'm so deeply grateful to Lewis and Rich. So without further ado, we're gonna take it away with Mr. Lou and with more students from Prospect than we realize. But we're so glad to have everybody. No, this Enjoy. Is this is thrilling, this is absolutely thrilling. I'm gonna turn there one you go, Ms. light Lou. on here. What do you you see Mr. Lou's painting in the background there. That is true. Did you walk in with my phone? I will go. A painting from the Museum of Contemporary Art. Oh. If that's if that's a thing. I, I so know. Do, folks? I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, I'll give you a little bit about my background as a professional yeah. artist, and then afterwards we'll sort of get into the process of coloring these pages. Oh, now, what I understand is you all have at home, you have these pages. And you have these pages hopefully either in a physical form or you have them so that you can paint them with your uh your pad or your drawing your drawing pad okay so maybe we'll choose the same one together to start off with and i'm going to play some music 
And that, that's, we're going we're gonna to have a good time. That's going to be fun. Listen, Mr. Lou. So let me give you a little, a quick little background is what I do is my job as an artist uh -oh. is to go to events and concerts and do live, do live painting. So that's what I do. I, I grab the music when it's there and I put it down on canvas. I put it down on paper and sometimes I put it down on a digital iPad like we're going to do tonight. That's very exciting for me also because it's very clean. Sometimes I'll get a little messy when I'm painting. I don't know if that happens to you all, but it's okay to get a little messy as long as you clean it up, right? I found that out. When I go out and make a mess, as long as I clean up the mess, they let me come back. And so I always do that. It's about having a tidy job site, as I call it, because I'm also a professional painter too. So we're going to start off a little bit with, let's do an example of some of the some of the stuff I've gotten from you already. So we this has already started so far. This is one I did yesterday. And every one of these pictures here has a story to it. This is my friend Dave Rempis. Dave was playing at the Chicago Jazz Fest. And this is just a black and white drawing. It's one of the drawings that you all have. And <clears throat> when we were doing a little dress rehearsal yesterday, with Miss Susan and Abby and Caitlin, who are here, uh, I, I made some, some painting marks to show that there was music coming from his saxophone. So that's what you're seeing, these things here, which is kind of exciting. All that stuff coming off of his saxophone is, <clears throat> is music, as far as I'm concerned. Thanks so much. And I can do a lot of different things here with that, but I'll just make sure it's colorful. <clears throat> I want to show you something that we have from Noah. Do we have a Noah hanging around? Noah, this is yours. I want to thank you so much for sending this to me or sending it to, to Miss Susan because I, I love this. I, I love the, the shapes and the colors you put into this. I especially love what you did with the white space. If you remember before, there is nothing like in this area right here, Totally blank. And Noah put in here some shapes and some forms and some colors, <clears throat> which I find extremely exciting. That means you used your imagination, Noah. <clears throat> and I like that a lot. <clears throat> You're pretty much doing what I do. Now, I hope you all get a chance to do a lot of coloring at home and do your stuff. <clears throat> this is the book I'm talking about. You all have pages of this and you all probably have access to it too. So that means there's plenty more coloring to go on as the summer moves on. You don't always have to listen to music, but I tend to do so. I tend to sort of enjoy the sound of it being in the room. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of music while we're doing this. So if you're listening to music, that's fine. One of my disciplines here is to imagine that the music becomes like a physical thing in the room. So I imagine that the music like turns into physical goo and turns into physical light and is filling the room so much that I have to pay attention to it. It's almost like treating the music like a separate musician or a separate person who's there which is very fun for me. And it allows me to do a lot of abstract <clears throat> painting and coloring, which I like very much too. <clears throat> Let's jump into one of the ones that we have free. Ooh. This right here is my friend, Paul G. Lorenzo. He's a really, really good piano player working out of Chicago. We've worked together a few times. Now I know where this, I know where the, that's what it is because I usually I, I write their names on it and I write the date and I'm smart enough to do that. So I can remember that, hey, this is Paul. This was done in 2018 by somebody who goes by Lou Ock. I do that sometimes because my name is Louis Achenbach and sometimes I get tired of writing the whole thing. I know that's a little bit lazy, <laughs> but <clears throat> it makes it easier sometimes and I can remember it. So this was done 
um, at a show. I think this was in the Chicago Jazz Fest too. And as you can see, it's a represent it's representing a man playing the piano. You don't really see the piano too much. Don't I would say like these, you know, these these bars on the sides are kind of where the piano is. But it's the back of a guy's head. He's wearing a hat. You can see his ears. You can see the suit. And we can treat this like a regular coloring book, which is like coloring inside the lines, coloring outside the lines. We can take examples from other people. I believe someone's going to remember seeing this. So check that out. This is one of our artists right here who is live with us, right? This is Caitlin. And Susan, you keep making sure that everybody can hear me and that you can hear me. And if anything changes, let me know. Okay. Cool. So she painted Paul here and she gave him what I like very much about this. Ooh, I just had a great idea. Do you guys mind if I, Caitlin, do you mind if I collaborate on your piece? I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you put an outline around Paul here to depict some of the, the music sort of surrounding him. And that is something I'm going to take a little bit of liberty here and do myself. Now you all have, do you all have this drawing of Paul at home? If you do, let's work on this Paul drawing for the next, say five minutes or whatever, and <clears throat> add what you want to to Paul. You could take examples from what I'm doing or you could just do your own thing because there is no wrong way here. This is all wide open, fun. It's coloring, right? We're having a good time. All right, so let's let's listen to a little bit of music for five minutes and paint Paul. For, for me, painting is so much about listening. It's about listening to the music. It's about paying attention to what's going on. And watching Paul move is what gave me the idea to make him look like this. Usually what I use here I'm a real, I'm, I'm a sort of a stickler for certain things. I use the calligraphy, calligraphy wet, uh, wet pen a lot. And then I use the, the painting wash. And that's pretty much all I use. I don't, you know, I don't deviate very far from that kind of stuff because it works. So you find what works and you move along and you keep doing that. All right, I'm hearing a piano, which would be uh, which would be Sonny Ra playing the piano there. And since in some ways there's not really a piano in this picture, I think I'll give him a little bit of a piano. And does that look like a traditional piano? Not really. And so maybe the keys of the piano are flying around a little bit. As you can see, I use my imagination quite a lot. And I think that's one of the fun parts of doing this is not only do I get to use my imagination all the time, uh, but in some ways I get paid to use my imagination. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I'll be excited to see your drawings after this. So maybe after this is over, you can send Miss Susan Miss Susan Teamstra, you can send her your drawings and we can put them together to show for a, a second video after this. 
if you want. Some people like to hold their art very close to them and keep it like it's their own. And some people like to share it. I like to do both. A lot of people coloring. I love it. I, I can almost... I can almost feel the coloring going on in different places in Illinois. I love this. Someone's showing you a Mr. Liu. So, I'm going to keep going just for a little bit longer here, and then we'll get into some talking and Ooh. I like that. Let me take this time a little bit to talk about what sometimes people would call mistakes in artwork. What I like to call mistakes is I like to call them opportunities. Because sometimes, even when digital painting, and I know you guys have a back arrow, and if you don't like something, you can say, I don't like that back arrow. And you can change it. And I could do that with what I'm doing too. It's the two fingers. I use my two fingers and go boom, disappears, for example. Boom, boom, boom. It goes away. But I can also put it back, of course, if you, do, if you reverse it. But I like to use what are called mistakes sometimes as opportunities, especially when I'm live painting on canvas or when I'm using real materials, not digital materials and you can't backspace, and you can't erase. Say I'll do something, quite obviously something I maybe wouldn't want to do, and put like a big block of, of, of paint right there. And I'll say, hmm, I kind of didn't want to do that. What can I do now to make that better? I didn't want to paint that black box and that little X there. How do I use this now, this mistake, as an opportunity for something else? Well, maybe I'm going forward and I'm going ahead with it because it's live and I'm doing what jazz musicians do all the time, which is improvise on the spot and the show must go on. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to go, okay, well, maybe I made a shape here that's kind of nice. Maybe I made a shape here that's kind of nice. Hmm. I'm not too, I'm, I'm a little I'm okay with that. That's interesting. This might go into the, uh, the shapes of his coats a little bit. And so I've created some more shapes right there that are kind of interesting. I don't know, I kind of like that. I'm gonna have to send, if you all are painting pictures of Paul G. Lorenzo, I'm going to send him an email with all your drawings so he can see what all you all drew of him and he's going to be thrilled he's probably not going to giggle because he's kind of cool and he's a jazz guy but he might giggle a little bit inside i'll be giggling i don't that's that's what i do <laughs> so there you go we've got one one piece here i would like to share a little bit of what happened yesterday too because i think this is extraordinary this is going to be really cool. <clears throat> what you were listening to before and a little bit now is the Sun Ra Orchestra. Uh, and this is a band that is still going on, even though some of the members are not around. <clears throat> Maybe when you guys are a little bit older, you might dig into this a little bit because some of this stuff is way out there. This guy was almost like from outer space, which is kind of cool. But this is from the coloring book and this is something that you have. And we have a picture yesterday of <clears throat> Abby did this. And I might wanna, just because we're talking about it, I think I'm gonna collaborate with Abby a little bit and do some stuff. Miss Susan likes this guy down here. Yeah, I like that person. I love the sunglasses now. You like the sunglasses on? <laughs> you know, he did have them before, but at this point he can be like, Hey, what's going on? I think Abby sort of started that, but yeah, I like that. There he is with arms and hands. <laughs> and uh, you can't really see it, but there's, this is Marshall Allen right here. 
and uh, I wouldn't say he's a friend of mine, but we know we, we know who each other are. This guy is uh, about 95 years old, as, as cool as the underside of the pillow. The guy is pretty amazing. I think you got to be pretty cool to be able to do this kind of stuff and bring really cool music about. But anyway. I gotta remember that I'm on a live TV show and I can't just color here and just, uh, oftentimes when I'm, I'm working and I'm painting, I will lose my sense of time and I will forget where I am and two hours will go by and it's only been five minutes and that's because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. One of the things I would encourage you all to do, and this is for your future and for now, is find something that you love to do, work really hard at it, and practice it a lot, whether that's music, whether that's art, whether you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor or anything. Just find something that you love to do and that you like to work hard at. That's, that's one of the things too, because not everything's supposed to be easy and you gotta, you gotta get a job anyway, so let's do it, let's do it right. All right, let's think about picking another one. You guys ready to go for another, for another piece of artwork here? That's okay, if you wanna finish what you have there later on, that's fine. If you wanna keep working on Paul, that's okay too. But since we have a, we're doing a TV show here and we're showing this to the world, I'm going to pick, um, it's gonna to be a tough one. This one is one that we're familiar with. This one is uh, Miss Susan Teamster. She worked on this before and she showed me some of her artwork working on this. And again, this is a drawing of two people that I know. That is Josh playing the clarinet. I think it was the clarinet. It might be, the, it might be a French horn. See, that's sometimes when I do abstract things, it becomes, I treat the musician, the music like, or the, the, uh, the instruments like abstract pieces of art because I can't play. I know that sounds kind of sad and I say it like it's almost sad, but for as much as I love music, you all are probably ahead of me because I wouldn't know which end of the flute to blow in. Mama. But I love music and I appreciate so much people that do it, but by not, by not playing, it lets me to treat the music and the instruments like they're abstract and they're just weird objects that I have no idea what's going on. So sometimes I'll just grab like the bell of the horn or I'll just grab the flanges or I'll grab the mouthpiece. So this is Josh working on the left. And this is Michael Zarang working on the right, and he's playing drums. And I can make that drum set a little bit fuller just because I have the opportunity to do it right now. Uh, Michael is a friend, and he is known in his circles. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm quoting somebody that I don't know, but somebody had a, <clears throat> a thought about Michael. They said when he plays his drums, and this was, this was, a, this was somebody your age, said he looks like he's opening presents on Christmas morning. He loves it so much, which means he was just doing this and going like ripping things up and taking it off and stuff like that, just having a really good time. And that's because he loves what he's doing and he really enjoys it in the moment. And whether there's a, a million people there, or whether there's five people there, he's giving it his all and really having a good time. So this is Michael. I'm gonna give him a little more of a drum set so he has something to work on. <clears throat> One thing I'm going to point out here is this is going to be a duet. There is this space here in the middle. Mama. Right? Between, between Josh and Michael that has nothing there. But when I was at the show, and we're going to act like it is tonight, we're going to fill it up with some music. And I'm going to have some music go back and forth between Josh and Michael. And we're going to see if they can sort of have like a dialogue going on with music, which is going to be shapes and colors. Does that sound good? Okay, so if you all have this up, we're gonna paint this one for a little bit. Listen to music if you got it. Listen to my music if you got it. Listen to the silence of the room, whatever works for you. But let's get to it. <clears throat> Again, I use two brushes here, guys. I don't keep it, I don't keep it very complicated. You're going to die until I also want to go. Very nice. 
some music over here. I tend to work a little fast. And I do that when I'm doing it like this or when I'm doing it otherwise, because I'm grabbing the music as it's happening. And oftentimes I don't have that much time to think too much. That's kind of nice actually. You can see I'm cheating a little bit and using, using the back button. But you got to use the tools that you have with you, right? All right, I'm going to I'm going to jump out of my safe zone here. What's up, man? And start using What's up? some spray paint. Uh-oh. No, you can be nice because he knows the left pivot. So now we'll talk about a little bit about having the dialogue of music here. I'm going to use a very strong neon green for them to be talking to each other. Like it's the frequency in the sky that's going between Joshua and Michael. And a lot of times when musicians are playing together, they are having a dialogue. Sometimes it's called call and response. I really just simply call a dialogue because they're, they're listening to each other and they're saying to each other, I hear you. If you're gonna play that, I'm gonna play this. Stuff like that. So there's often a lot of that going on. <laughs> well, music's getting nice and weird over here. <laughs> Can you turn that up just a little bit for us, please? How's that? That's good. I decided to draw Michael like he has multiple hands, which another thing I have a background in you all is uh, being an artist, but being working in animation, which is, you know, making cartoons. Um, I worked on Coward, um, Courage the Cowardly Dog, uh, which is a show from a bunch of years ago. And I worked on in, um, Between the Lions. Do you remember that show from years ago with, with the puppets and they did some animation in there? And so one of the things I know is uh, that it's okay to do multiple stages of the same thing. See, each one of these pieces of artwork and drawings is essentially capturing, say, 15 minutes in time. So it's my job to, to, to document what it was like for the whole 15 minutes 
not just like a photograph or a flash of time. So oftentimes I will show different waves and show that, make it look like this guy was really swinging his arms. Now, uh, Josh seems to be okay with all this, even though he's very close. He's got all this music bouncing off him. So you can see there's a lot of, of imagination happening here. Was, was, this, was the music this colorful when I saw it? Of course not. You can't really see music, but I pretend that I can. And it makes me, um, it makes me feel like I'm using a part of my brain that, that maybe not everybody gets to use all that much, especially grownups. I'm pretty sure that you all use it all the time. And I would suggest never lose that ability to use your imagination because it's a great tool and it's a great skill to have even when you're my age or whether you're 102 being able to use your imagination also helps you improvise now when i say the word improvisation and improvise it means to sort of make something up along the way that's what jazz musicians do all the time and that's how somehow I got a reputation for being called a jazz painter or a, uh, sometimes I'm even considered part of the band sometimes. In a real sense, you all are together with me and we're kind of like in a big band tonight. We're like the, 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 uh, the Studio 100 Prospect Elementary Big Band tonight. And we're jamming together on these drawings. I'm having a ball. You got, we, we should just do this for like six hours in a row. You guys ready? <laughs> All right, let's move on to, I think we worked out this guy a little bit. I think um, I'm dying to see what you all are doing at home. One of the things that's, that really is big stinkeroony about not going to be able to be with you in your school this year is that I can't say hi to you. I can't look you in the face. I can't uh, see what you're doing physically, but that might change, but that's okay. That's where we are right now. but we do get to be together. Let's look at, okay. I don't know, I come, I'm kind of looking to look at this one here. <clears throat> this is my buddy, Eric, Eric Revis. Or maybe he says it sounds grievous, I don't know sometimes. We just call each other by our first names. Uh, Eric is a bassist in uh, many bands. One of them is called Tar Baby, that's a really good one. It's one of my favorite jazz bands. Uh, they get together. He plays with these two other guys and they bring in special, special um, soloists and stuff like that. Eric plays the bass. And hopefully you can tell that he's playing the bass in this drawing. Now, if you all feel like it, you can bring up this painting or this drawing, excuse me, of Eric, or you can work on the drawing you have and that's fine too. But I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of what it's like to listen to Eric play. Now I'm going to play some of this other music here, but <clears throat> Eric's a very strong player. And he would always sort of go back to one of the same poses. And I'm calling this a key pose because I found that he went back to this position with his hands several times. And he had this sort of expression on his face, which I could tell he was just really into the music. So I saw him do that several times. And I'm like, I think I'm going to draw that on, on Eric. He didn't even breathe. The one thing Eric does not, Eric has a beard and he, I guess he shaves his head. Um, but you know what? This is my show and I can do whatever I want. And oftentimes, because we are now in a quarantine situation, not everybody's going out and getting haircuts, I'm going to give Eric a bunch of hair. <laughs> He's not going to like this. <laughs> This is gonna test my friendship with Eric Revis, because here we go. I'm gonna, I'm having, okay, I'm having a lot of fun here, but I'm gonna pretend like he's got all these locks of hair. And uh, he's doing that. All right, so now that I've done that, and he's got lots of hair, and it's coming off. 
Now I'm going to get to do, I may have a color of the base a little bit. Give the base a little bit of texture. Turn the music up a little bit. Maybe he's got a little bit of this going on. I'm going back to the same music you all, so you get familiar with a little bit of uh, sort of one thing. Also, who knows, it might become the, the theme music for the show, I don't know. And I'm coloring on top, and I think that's what you're all doing to do, do too. One of the things I can do with my program is I have different layers I can use. So I can add another layer and do something different if I want which I do sometimes, but oftentimes I'm just having such a good time, I'm just sort of around doing this. And so Eric has a lot of space around him. Eric has all this space over to him in the upper left, and right now it feels kind of pink to me. And so I'm doing, you know, there's certain shapes I like to go back to and swirls are, are sort of great. Swirls are great shapes to go to. But sometimes I'm also feeling like a little bit of architecture. Solid shapes like that. Almost as if a, a note has taken over and taken like a solid form and decides to sort of move away from the musician. And I think about it moving away and away and away and up into, up into space, honestly. I think that's sort of a funny, funny way to think about it, but where else does sound go when it leaves, huh? Even after the musicians are not playing anymore, there's still a vibration out there. And the music still exists a little bit. some water down here. Sometimes I'm just getting so much into the music, I'm just fun over here. <clears throat> okay, I'm having too much fun. Are you guys having too much fun? I hope so. <laughs> See, the other thing I'm missing here is the, is, the, is the laughter and the shuffling of paper and stuff like that, but <clears throat> maybe one of these years we can do this together. And you're all gonna, sh you are gonna share these with me, right? You're gonna, you're gonna share them with Miss Susan so I get to see what you're doing because that's part of, uh, we're collaborating today and we're making some beautiful stuff together. Since we have 15 more minutes, I wanna make sure I give you all a chance to ask some questions if you would like to ask some questions. Now, the way this works with this 
this uh, live Facebook thing is, I'm pretty sure if you just start talking, it'll, it'll click your box. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask some help from you, uh, Miss Susan, for this. That okay. if somebody wants, to, somebody wants to say something, I mean, I, I guess I could take it off of the, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll take it off this. Does that can make sense? Can you see if they wave? Yeah, and then we can see if we. Uh, if they uh, raise their hand and then maybe I'll they could show their too. artwork too. All right, so did that change the screen for everybody? Thumbs up. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. All right, does, does somebody have a question? And I'm seeing multiple hands. If someone has a question, just raise your hand and I will call on you. And we'll say this, oh. Maddie, I see Maddie, you have your hand up. Um, are you able to unmute your, your screen? There's probably a setting on your thing. Nice, Becky. Maddie, go ahead. I don't know if I can hear your voice, but let me. Uh... Yeah, I think he's. I don't think I muted everybody, so I think everybody should be able to unmute say themselves. something if they want. Yep. There he goes. If this works, great. Um, I like seeing everybody's artwork in the time that, that maybe uh, if, if, if people want to show me their artwork. Maddie, wow, look at that. Yes. That is beautiful. Becca, that is beautiful too. I'm using the names that are on the screen. It might be your parents, but Maddie, another great one. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Kimberly, look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys can do my job, pretty much. You guys can do your thing. VJ, look at that. Oh, great, that's, that's fantastic. I love that one of Josh and Michael. Caitlin, very good. Annie, look at that. Woo! That is beautiful. Kimberly, I love that one of Paul. So well, Annie's got a great one, too. Wow, yeah. oh, yeah, look at that. Look at Annie's one of Josh. Wow. Yeah. Kate's got one. Kate, that's beautiful. Now I know your I know your name is not Henry up there, but <laughs> the Henry screen, I love it. <laughs> Little uh, Konar, I love that one. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You guys are doing a great job. You know, we're gonna have to do this together in in, in person sometime when the uh, when the air outside is a little bit clear. This is fantastic. Susan, are you seeing all these? I am seeing it. It's wonderful. Wow. And you know, if they have some questions for you, they could also type them in the chat. We could look at them. Uh, that's true. I didn't think about that. I, for, I think we have a, a chat thing. Um, yeah. I don't think we've got too much in there, but. Okay. But again, if somebody, you know, if somebody has their, has their uh, microphone working and they would like to, to say something, that's fine. Wait. How often do you, Becky, Be Becca asked, how often do you draw? Wow, I draw all the time. Sometimes I'm drawing in my dreams, honestly. But I like to think, uh, I think drawing is a practice and it's a discipline that you have to work on it every day. I'm always learning something new uh, almost every day about what I'm doing. And that's because I'm, I'm working on it very much like playing a musician like playing playing an instrument i'm gonna have a special guest here too banana. you guys want to see banana <laughs> yes i do have a giant duck right here this is banana banana is a this is an aylesbury duckling she is cool about uh a week old maybe six yeah. days my house is full of these things a week and a day. Now this gives me something to draw, which sometimes I do. I did let last night a little bit. Um, this is just a little <laughs> distraction from what's going on. My house is full of 11 ducks. They're in the basement. And they, they asked me to feed them in the morning and I say, okay, I'll feed you today. This is nice. 
Yeah. Mr. Liu, you have a couple more questions in the chat. Okay, okay let's do this. Which is your favorite drawing, Mr. Liu? My favorite drawing, wow. That's a tough one. My favorite drawing is usually the one I'm working on. <clears throat> and it's usually my least favorite drawing too, because <clears throat> sometimes I'm working hard at it and sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not working. So it's my favorite and my least favorite at the same time. But then I like to look at it the next day like I didn't make it. I don't know if you all do that, but look at a drawing the next day and act like you didn't do it. Um, I've been drawing, I'm answering another question here. I've been, I've been drawing since I was your age and before. So it's always sort of been the thing that I like to do. I know I do a lot of other things, but I've always found that the drawing is, is fantastic. Well, that's um, one of the other questions. Do you have any other hobbies besides raising ducks, Mr. Liu? Do I have any other hobbies? Well, um, I think I do. It, it has a lot to do with art. It has a lot to do with music. Um, I like spending time with my wife. I like spending time with my daughter. I have two dogs. I have two beagles in the house. So I like to take them for walks every day. And if I don't, if they're not happy about it, they say, it's time for a walk, daddy, let's go. So I would consider that a hobby also. Um, I, this is, this is, but art has sort of taken over, I have to say. Um, <clears throat> are you seeing some other questions? Annie's raising her hand. Um, sort of just. One question, why did you become an artist from <clears throat> heaven? I became an artist because I realized that it was something that I like to do, but that wasn't that easy. And I found that the more I worked at it, the better I got. And also, honestly, people liked, people liked to see what I did. So I would do a drawing and someone would say, hey, that's really cool. Can you draw this for me? Or, hey, this is really great. Um, can you help me out with my drawing? So it, it got me away. It was a way for me. So even if I wanted to be quiet and by myself to interact with other people. And it was something that I didn't have to talk a whole lot because my paintings and my drawings were talking for me. And I could interact with other children and other adults through my artwork. And I just became known as the guy that draws and paints and, and there you go. And so I went to college for it and I went through the high school for it and stuff like that. I hope you all are having a really, really good time. Um, <clears throat> if there are no more questions, we could get back into drawing. You want to do some of that? Does that sound good? good answer. All right. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. There's Eric again. Let's do this. We're going to go to one of the drawings that we haven't used yet. <clears throat> oh, before we do that, and real quick, I want to show you something that I do with uh, photographs <clears throat> and something I do with tracing and something I do with using layers. So let's do this real quick. This is a drawing I did of uh, from two photographs of two people working together and just so you see what it looks like I I traced which some people would say oh hey I think that's cheating but I think as long as you make it your own and you make it original and you do your own thing it's not it's not cheating it's, it's, a, it's a tool like everything else. And I know some people that use photographs all the time. It's called collage. And maybe you all are doing that sometimes in school or at home. And that's an art form all to itself. So this is two, uh, two photographs I put together. And I did the black outline of it. <clears throat> and so then I could sort of take away the drawings and still have the black, have the black outline going on there. And then I added a bunch of color on top of that 
and kind of below it because I use a I use a thing called called layers on this, and that's really just like, you know, <clears throat> your piece of paper is one layer, and the layer you put on top of that is your color layer. So you're working with two layers. This one has I'm adding some other layers, so I'll take off the I'll take off the the, the outline, and so this is the painting that's around these these two figures. And I like to think that's pleasantly abstract, you know, like it works this way or it works this way. I mean, you kind of all know that there's a flute there, but in a lot of ways, that's what I call abstraction. But then you add the, you add the figures back on there and you go, okay, now I'm telling a story with the abstraction. So like for me, um, that could be just music, you know, that's me depicting and doing a portrait of music. If you all know sometimes when you're doing a portrait of yourself, you're doing a portrait of somebody else, I'm oftentimes doing portraits of musicians. And that's called life drawing. That's sometimes called a still life if you're using fruits or something like that. But um, I'm, I'm treating these musicians a lot of ways like models and they're, they're sitting for me, but not really. They're playing, they're moving around. So I'm capturing what they're doing. This comes off as a little video. So you can see me starting with the picture. I'm putting the outline on there. And then once I like the outline somewhat, I'll take it away, take away the pictures, add some color layers, and I keep on going and put what I call top notes. So the end here is like the top notes, which is like, let's put some of those fine lines on there. So that's an example of what I do. Um, I'll share this one. I did this one for a friend. She said, hey, can you take these two photographs of my kids and put them together? And I said, sure. So I took a photograph of her son, did an outline of it. And then I went ahead and added the other kid. So we got two kids who weren't there together before. I'm using my imagination. I'm using the tools that are right here in front of me and I'm putting them all together. And so now she has a portrait of her two children singing together and she likes it a lot. <clears throat> and she also wanted me to put a bun on the girl's hair in the end, which I did. So what's fun about that is, again, if I take off, if I take off all that stuff, look how wild and weird that is. Isn't that fun? <clears throat> so that's kind of, you know, that's, that's pretty abstract. Look at the tiny eyes that one of them has. <laughs> right? Right? But that's me sort of getting, getting all the details in there and, um, and <clears throat> making somebody happy. So I just did a piece of artwork that made a friend of mine very happy and made her kids happy, probably made her grandparents happy. And it's my job, making people happy. <laughs> all right, so let, real quick, we'll do... Oh, wait, here's, I'll do this one real quick too. This is, this is the one I did for Mother's Day. That's, again, this is from a photograph of, uh, of, of my wife and my daughter when she was real little and she was playing the piano. That's one of my favorite things is her little fingers right there. But, I don't know, it's a way to make something extra lovely and extra cool. <clears throat> Susan, you think we should do some more uh, questions here in the, in the to go out, or would you like to say a few words? I think we're. I let's see if we have any uh, more questions in our chat. Okay. I heard. Let's go back to drawing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's roll it out here. I'm just going to keep on going. We got like two minutes. We're going to jump into this last drawing I have here. And this is Mr. David Wong and Billy Drummond. And they were, what I understand, they were on the same stage. So they were playing together, but of course they weren't this close together. So again, let's just, let's play some music and let's draw. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've officially come to our hour program, though I would love to just keep on coloring and painting with you all all night. And uh, I don't know, maybe we should do this again. We can, do, we can do it again tomorrow. I'm just kidding. But we should do this again. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad you took the time to, to share uh, your artwork with me. And I'm glad you got a, gave me a chance to share my artwork with you. Um, again, your, your esteemed educator here, Ms. Ms. Susan Teamstra, thank you so much for setting this up. This is so much fun. Um, if you have more questions and you have more sharing to do, please send them to Ms. Teamstra and she will send them to me. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I would like to do this. Thank you so much, Becca. I'm seeing your message. Mm -hmm. um, this felt very warm and this felt very, very good. Yeah. And I hope you all felt good too. It's wonderful to have you, Mr. Lou. It was terrific. Thank it, you so much. Thank you so much. It was great to celebrate. Uh, we lost you there for a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm glad I get to see a uh, fine arts evening with you. It's, it's been an honor. We lost you, Mr. Lou. Oh. Okay, well, Bye. Uh, we're, hearing other, we're hearing other people's audio. When someone else, someone else clicks in, um, but 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 Evan was saying goodbye. Thank you, Evan. Bye. Um, <laughs> thank you, everybody, for coming. And um, if you feel like, if thank you want to watch this live, again, bye. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be I'm going to be painting live tonight on my bye. Instagram account from eight to nine with the middle school kids. So that's going to be uh, tonight. Probably losing me, but tonight. Oh, actually, I can share it. Let's see there you go. We can hear you now. Now that you, yeah. Yeah. when you move back, we, we can go. hear you better. So this is happening. This is happening at 8 p.m. tonight. So if your parents have an Instagram account, you can check this out. I'll be working on Canvas. Fine. Okay. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Lou. It was great. Thank Hi, Mr. Lou. Bye. Everybody. Bye. 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 Bye